Uh, from bunnies to dogs to kittens, if you and your family are ready to adopt the SPCA of Tampa Bay, they've got you covered. Kristen Davis, Marketing and Communications Manager, is back with us. Good to see you, Kristen. How are you? We're not moving. The bunny is, <laughs> introduce us first and foremost yes, so here. This, this is Peanut. Oh. Peanut is three and is right now available for adoption at no fee. We have all of our pocket pets that can be adopted. We have rabbits and guinea pigs, birds, all different sorts of little critters at no fee right now at SPCA Tampa Bay. And that was a special for May, wasn't it? Yes, yes. And we started off the month with about 75 pocket pets and about 50 of those have gone home. Home. Oh, that's so. Fabulous. We still have quite a few, but yes, a lot of them have found homes throughout the month of May, including Peanut. Which, by the way, uh, Peanut's markings are really, really cool. Yeah, he's very pretty. And uh, yeah, just chill mode right now. <laughs> chill mode. Well, let's talk, of course, about the SPCA in general. Yes, mm -hmm. Pocket Pets the month of May, but I know still the summer is always a busy month, isn't it? Yes, it is. Right now, we have a lot of other animals like dogs and cats, and our longest-term dog is named Abo, and he's been with us since. November so we're really hoping that he'll find a home soon he's great with with dogs and older kids um, so he's just a really fun energetic guy so we're really hoping he finds a home soon well we were talking about you know plans for the summer and everything um, any ways to get involved with the SPCA when it comes to the summer months yeah ac actually right now we're looking for fosters uh, we going into the summer we have a lot of kittens that start to come in and um, opportunities to have them go to foster homes so we're always looking for for foster families as well as volunteers and with the summer we're getting into hurricane season so we do have a lot of prep for that and um, if you go Go to our website, spcatampabay.org. We have a lot of hurricane prep tips there as well. Well, I'm glad you brought that up, actually. And you already touched on the website, of course, for the resources. Uh, you know, hurricane season, I think we sometimes tend to think of the plans for ourselves, but don't realize. Is that something you hear as well? Yeah, and that's why we try to provide some good resources. The pets are part of the family, so we yes. want to make sure that the community is well prepared for them as well as their own human family during hurricane season. And that also means, like, evacuation routes where the pets are going to go, not just having enough food stored, right? Correct. Yes, resources for where your pets, where you can go with your pets and how to best care for them during those scenarios. Which hopefully we don't have any, right? <laughs> we don't hopefully. want any. I, I don't want any this year, okay? Yeah. Stay away, hurricanes. Uh, okay, we've only got a few more seconds left. Say someone sees Peanut right now and is like, you know what? Peanut is who I'm looking for to add to my home. What's the best way to go ahead and adopt Peanut? Yeah, so we recommend coming to the shelter and meeting Peanut to make sure that it feels right and that he's the best fit for you and your family. We have adoption counselors there to help advise on every, all the steps to care for a pocket pet if you've never had one or any kind of animal that you're looking to adopt. Good stuff. Well, we want to make sure, share the information so you can get in touch with the SPCA. And in the meantime, give a big shout out to our sponsor, Pet Supermarket. Whether your pet swim, crawl, or fetch the ball, Pet Supermarket has.